everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be testing out a new foundation and this is by Kosas. This is the Revealer Skin Improving Foundation, broad spectrum SPF 25, and it is a medium coverage, natural dreamy finish. I'm so excited to try it out. I got my beauty blender all ready to go. I got the shade Light Neutral 140. It is light with subtle pink undertones and that's what it looks like. Just a quick overview, it says it's a clean skin improving medium coverage foundation powerhouse treatment and SPF to reveal your best most vibrant skin without feeling makeup-y your dream skin revealed so it's gonna make your skin look more alive brighter hydrated visibly plumped soothed and protected it's got skincare powered with hyaluronic acid niacinamide peptide squalene pro vitamin b5 arnica caffeine and artemisia flower this is what the package looks like so it is definitely a nice size bottle cute top it is a pump which i really like that so let's go ahead and just try this out because i cannot wait i did prep my skin not with a primer i haven't been using primers too much i use just a thicker moisturizer lately i've been using the pharmacy honey halo absolutely adore this stuff let's go ahead and apply some i'm gonna take two pumps hopefully that's not too much it might have been let's see if this is the right color also if you guys are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button it helps me a ton off the bat it has a little bit of a smell to it but like i mean it smells nice it doesn't smell bad and it seems like the coverage is pretty good i think i actually applied a little bit too much i also think this might be like a tiny bit too light for me i have been getting a little bit more sun but we can fix it with some bronzer also guys for today's video i am only going to be doing my face makeup i'm going to skip over the eyes and everything just because i will be filming a live makeup look doing my eyes after this so just just a foundation try on and review today. It definitely has a really glowy finish. Honestly, I'm not liking that too much only because I have really oily skin. It just makes me look oilier. Once I apply a little bit of powder, let's see if that helps. I don't know if I applied too much. I feel like I probably did. If you guys can see though, it's really helping cover any redness that I have. So definitely neutralizing. All right, so this is the foundation on its own. Oh man, guys. I do like the formula. It feels really light on my skin. Like, I don't feel like I'm wearing anything. But for me, being oily, acne prone, I do not like this finish. I would not go outside like this. I'm gonna do a little bit of powder next and concealer to get any extra spots. Up close, as you guys can see, I don't know if it's because it's so glowy. It's not settling into my pores like a typical foundation would. So I do like that. It almost looks shiny like an SPF on your skin, if that makes sense. Like it's not settling into my fine lines and pores in that way and it's super glowy and shiny like that, but it gives me the color coverage like a foundation does. So I definitely do appreciate that. I'm gonna move on to the next step so we can get this glow down just a little bit. I'm going in with a little bit of my Bye Bye Breakout Concealer from It Cosmetics. Okay guys, we got just a little bit of extra coverage with concealer in a few spots that I needed it. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the powder. One of my go-to powders has been the Super Goop Resetting Powder. It's 100% mineral based and I absolutely love it and it has SPF in it, so it's a double whammy, it's amazing. I'm not gonna use it today though just because I want more of a mattified look and it doesn't fully mattify my skin. Today I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder and I'm just gonna go ahead and like press this into my skin as I'm applying it so that way it will set everything in place so it doesn't move around. Okay, I will tell you guys I was a little bit nervous and scared because it is so super like oily glowy looking which isn't the worst thing in the world but because I've grown up with oily skin I don't really like that look on my skin personally on this side I used a powder and it mattified it so if you guys can see the difference there's a very clear distinct difference don't be scared if you apply your powder to set everything and keep it in place it will also help by mattifying that shine look so you will not have that shine it's clearly like gone 
mostly. I like that. It gives you a little bit of glow from within, but it's not like super shiny like this side. So if you guys like that glow, feel free to wear it without powder. I know some people want to achieve that look, so you guys may like that, but it may not stay in place throughout the day. Have any of you guys tried this foundation? Let me know down below. It just came out recently and I love Kosas' products because they're clean beauty. They tend to work pretty well. Obviously not everything works for everybody, but I tend to like their products. I think this is a great addition to their line. So I feel like I look a little bit pale. We're gonna fix this up. For my bronzer, I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Matte Bronzer. And for my blush, I'm using the Natasha Denona Blush Glow Duo. And we're just going in with the blush shade. All right, next we're going in with the blush. Okay, so that is a quick tutorial and how to with the new Kosas foundation. I will say guys, it did look a little bit light when I first applied it and I have been getting some sun outside, but once I add in my bronzer and blush, it pretty much evens out. If you guys get a shade that's a little bit too light, you can tweak it by adding a little bit more contour, bronzer, whatever to warm up your face. It's not bad. I really like it. It looks really natural and I will say that my skin kind of looks like it has like a light airbrush finish to it. Today's video shout out word is foundation. If you comment foundation down below in the comments first, you'll get a shout out in my next video. Looking at my skin up close, it looks pretty good, better than a lot of other foundations that I've tried. You can still see that I'm wearing foundation though. I did possibly apply a little bit too much. <laughs> I added two pumps onto my beauty blender, so maybe just start with one, guys. I normally start with a lot less. I don't know why I put on so much this time. It looks pretty good in my opinion. I think this is definitely a good foundation if you're looking for something with good ingredients, a foundation that is lighter and gives you medium coverage. I feel like it actually color corrects really well. You can still see my freckles through. They're a little bit hidden, a little bit more than normal. I mean, all in all, overall, I do like it. So what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts if you guys have tried it or want to try it. I'm gonna show you guys my skin after a wearing this foundation for four hours of wear. I did touch up the powder once about an hour and a half, two hours in because I did take some photos for Instagram and everything. So I just wanted to share with you guys like up close what my skin is looking like. It still looks pretty good overall. All. It's not going too much into my fine lines and stuff. A little bit, but every foundation does. It's sliding maybe like a little bit, but it's not bad. It's better than other foundations, but it is still giving me that shiny, oily finish. It doesn't look completely drastically bad though. Like super up close, you can see it, but if I step back like a foot away, it's not too, too bad. Overall, I think the wear is pretty good. I would say though, if you do have oily skin, you're probably going to have to touch this up every so often just to help with that shine. But the formula is nice. Just wanted to throw in this quick update. <laughs> I would say it's definitely a good foundation in my opinion. And I like that it color corrects and also gives you that medium coverage without feeling like it's super heavy on the skin. It also does feel hydrating as well. And I feel like it blended really, really nice in with my powders and everything nothing looks streaky or cakey so i'd say it's definitely a great product today's video shout out goes out to marwa al halemi thank you so much for watching my videos if you guys want to shout out my videos make sure to watch the entire video and look out for the shout out word thank you guys so much for watching if you guys haven't make sure to subscribe hit that like button and turn your post notification bell on so you guys are updated every time i post a new video love you guys bye